Hi everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm excited to be sharing with you the brand new release from Colorado Craft Company. Now I have a card project that I'm going to show you right here, this lovely paint card. And I'm going to show you a few other card projects, but first we're going to jump in and look at the entire new release. And please stick around till the end of the video because I've got some information on a fun giveaway. The first new releases are part of the Lovely Legs series, and this series shows beautiful scenes from the lower half of the scene. And the first one is called Small One. Now Small One would be perfect for Christmas, as we see. I, I believe that's Mary and Joseph, and I think we know where they're headed. The next set is called Mommy Kissing Santa. And this one features a really sweet vintage illustration. And look at those cute typeset sentiments. I love that script handwritten font look. And the last one, this one is called Santa and Rudolph. And there is Santa. He's given his favorite reindeer a little treat. And again, the sentiments are really, really charming. The next new releases come from the Whimsy World Collection. The first one is called Snow Happy. And look at how sweet those snowmen are and the fun sentiments. That would make such a sweet holiday card project. Love that. The next one is called Layering Bears. First of all, the bears are adorable. Aren't those cute? I love it. And then it's also a layering set with the ability to stamp and layer a hat and scarf. So that's a really fun set as well. Again, would make fantastic holiday cards. And the third release for Whimsy World is Jolly Santa. Look at how cute that Santa is with his big body and his tiny little head and those fun sentiments. Really fun stamp set. Again, fantastic for the holidays. All right, let's move on. Big and bold, there are three new additions to this line and they are so big I can't show all three at once in my screen. Now I wanna show you I have a normal sized human hand. That's a big stamp. So the first one is the Vintage Santa and the second one is Winter Wishes Snowflakes. And you can see these are big sentiments. And this is the stamp set called Holiday Ornaments that I'm going to be using in today's card project. I love all the detail. I think if you're really into coloring, it would be so cool to take that ginormous stamp and have fun with it, but I'm going to keep it very simple for my card project today. Big and bold, indeed they are. They can't even, can't even fit them all on screen. But I'm going to start by showing a card project featuring this big ornament, and then I'll show you some things I made with the snowflake as well. And I will have all the other supplies listed below this video if you want to know what I'm using. But we're starting out here with a piece of Nina Solar White. This is the 110 pound cardstock. And I'm just using three Distress Oxides along with one of my blender brushes. This is a blender brush from Tailored Expressions just to layer on some color. Because I knew I wanted a big, bold wash of pink. And I just kind of worked the color for a while going over the areas to blend them. And I've got a piece of purple tape here just so that my fingerprints don't transfer to the oxide surface because it does take a while to dry. But I'm bringing in that picked raspberry. I'm just working my way around. Again, blending until it looks smooth. And once I had this looking how I wanted it to look, I did, I let this dry for about an hour. I didn't want to hit it with a heat tool, but I wanted this to be dry before I stamped my big ornament. And there she is. I mean, this is, it's huge, and I love this. So the panel you can see there is actually four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to use my Misty with this because I knew that a big stamp, at least for me, it takes me a while to get that impression exactly Perfect. So I am powdering up quite heavily with my magic embossing bag. And then I'm going to get my embossing ink. This is just the embossing ink from Gina K Designs. And I'm going to ink up the stamp really well. And then I keep a Swiffer cloth, not only for cleaning up uh, spills on my workspace, but just to do this, to add smooth, even pressure on the misty door because I just don't like, my hands will stick and look, my face shows up every now and then in the reflection of the door. So there's that, I got that going for me. But here's the beauty of the Misty. I didn't quite get the impression fully down, so I hit it a second time. And then I decided, you know what? That looks good. 
and I'm going to bring in the little chain. Didn't want to do this with the Misty because it's a delicate little stamp. I just decided to free range stamp this, right? Put it on a block and stamp it down. Now that was a little off center from the bow, but you know what? It's going to be fine. It's still going to look great. I'm sprinkling on my white powder, and this is Alabaster from Brutus Monroe. It's my go-to white powder. I love this powder. And that looked good, but I decided, you know what? Better be safe than sorry. Let's sprinkle on another layer, tap it off. And because of that embossing magic that I used, all the excess powder falls away. I've got my heat tool nice and hot, and then I'm just working my way around until all the powder melts, and we are good to go. Just like that. Looks great. Next, I'm going to take a die that I use a lot. This is from a set called A2 Layers Dies from Waffle Flower Crafts. And I'm just going to cut out a slightly smaller panel for my card front. The nice thing is too, it sort of helps to flatten out by going through my die cut machine. So that looks great. And next, I'm gonna move on to the sentiment. I'm just gonna take the Merry Christmas and I've got a piece of cardstock. I believe this is Dusty Rose from Gina K Designs. Using that powder bag again, inking up with embossing ink, and stamping it down. And again, bringing in that Swiffer. Just, you know, I just like the smooth. I like to go smooth. And that looks pretty good. No need to hit that a second time. And I will clip on my little clothespin, sprinkle on the powder. And that clothespin is just, I learned that tip from my friend Gina K from Stamp TV. It just gives you something to hold on to so that you're Heat embossing doesn't burn your little fingers. It's eh? pretty smart. That looks great. Next, I will take my favorite die set, literally my favorite die set. Well, there's many, but this one is a go-to for me. It's called the Sentiment Labels. And you frame out whatever you're gonna cut into a sentiment banner, tape it down top and bottom, right on your plate, and just run that through your machine. And then this also comes with these little banner notches. So you can tape those down as well and I like to tape the banner down and the notch down so nothing moves, and then run that through the machine, and voila, a lovely little banner. Now, sometimes purple tape will stick. It does stick, so you have to be a little mindful. I pulled it off a little aggressively, but I knew I was gonna trim this down for my card front. Next, I'm gonna take some sticky tape runner, and I'm gonna add some fun foam to the back of this panel. Normally, I pop things up with foam tape, but I ran out of foam tape. So I'm popping down a piece of fun foam. And this is nice though too, it gives such nice even dimension, just like that. And then I've got a tiny piece of fun foam that I've cut to fit onto the back of my little banner. I will score card base. This is gonna be top folding, USA2, which is four and a quarter wide by five and a half tall. And I always tape my card bases closed with a little piece of purple tape because this cardstock is so heavy that it pops up and I need my card bases to be flat when I am adhering the elements to the finished piece. So I've got liquid glue. I'm gonna dot all over the back of the fun foam and then line that up on the card base. And you can see that just nice little framing bit of white from the card base that comes through. I love that. Pressing that down, and then I will also use a little liquid adhesive on the back of the sentiment banner. I bring in some cardstock just because it helps me kind of figure out where the actual flush edge is on the right. And get that lined up, just like that. And then I'm going to finish this card off just with a few silver sequins. I've got five of them cascading across the front of the ornament. And just like that, that is my finished card project. I think it's just really fun to have this big, bold ornament that bleeds off the edge of the card panel. Isn't that cute? Ah, I love it. I'm gonna show you another one that I did. Basically just took the exact same design and decided to do it in blues. Isn't that pretty? Here are the blues. It's, uh, let's see, chipped sapphire, salty ocean, and tumbled glass. Did the same process, created that panel, and this is the exact same design. I just used the Happy Holiday sentiment for this card project. But you can kind of see how this design could be easily repeated for more cards. Next, the giant snowflake. I did the same approach with this card base, but this one I used some gold embossing powder. And then I did a second card, same design, big and bold and bleeding off the edge. 
and I think these are also really fun. This could be really easy to mass produce for the holidays because you're just stamping and embossing in gold, cutting those panels out just like that, and you're good to go. Now for the details on the giveaway. Hop on over to my blog. You will find the link below this video and leave a comment on the corresponding post. We will have three winners. Each one is going to receive one of the lovely legs stamp sets, one of the whimsy world sets, and one of the big and bold sets. And be sure to check out the entire new release from Colorado Craft Company. Thanks so much for watching today. And if you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you subscribe. And I will see you back here with another card video soon.